Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. That's me. Today we have a cool story, and I say cool because the little girl is hot. Her friends are hot. Her mom is hot. The plants are drooping. Where is the rain to moisturize everything and to make them feel cool? Well, that's what today's story is about. Come on, rain! By Karen Hess. Pictures by John J. Muth. Come on, rain! And look, here's the title page. Ooh, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Almost like the cover, but just a little different. Come on, Rain. Let's see what it's about. You ready? Okay. Come on, Rain, I say, squinting into the endless heat. Mama lifts a listless vine in size. <sighs> Three weeks and not a drop, she says, sagging over her parched plants. Parched. That's like another word for thirsty. So her plants were thirsty. The sound of a heavy truck rumbles past. Uneasy, Mama looks over to me. Is that thunder, Tessie? She asks. Mama hates thunder. I climb up the steps for a better look. It's just a truck, Mama, I say. Whew, I am sizzling like a hot potato. I ask Mama. May I put on my bathing suit? <laughs> Absolutely not, Mama says, frowning under her straw hat. You'll burn all day out in this sun. Up and down the block, cats pant. Heat wavers off tar patches in the broiling alleyway. Ms. Grace and Ms. Vera bend, tending beds of drooping lupines. Not a sign of my friends Liz or Rosemary. Not a peep from my pal Jackie Joyce. I stare out over rooftops, past chimneys, into the way off distance. And that's when I see it coming. Clouds rolling in, gray clouds bunched and bulging under a purple sky. A creeper of hope circles round my bones. Come on, rain, I whisper. Do you think the rain's gonna come? Quietly, while Mama weeds, I cross the crackling dry path past Miss Glick's window. Glancing inside as I hurry by, Miss Glick's needle sticks on her phonograph, playing the same notes over and over in the dim, stuffy cave of her room. The smell of hot tar and garbage bullies the air as I climb the steps to Jackie Joyce's porch. Jackie Joyce, I breathe, pressing my nose against her screen. Jackie Joyce comes to the door, her long legs like two brown string beans sprout from her shorts. It's going to rain, I whisper. Put on your suit and come straight over. Slick with sweat, I run back home and slip up the steps past Mama. She is nearly senseless in the sizzling heat, kneeling over the hot rump of a mill. In the kitchen, I pour iced tea to the top of a tall glass. I aim a spoonful of sugar into my mouth, then a second into the drink. Got you some tea, Mama, I say pulling her inside the house. Whew, Mama sinks into onto a kitchen chair and sweeps off her hat. Sweat trickles down her neck and wets the front of her dress. And under her arms, Mama presses the ice-chilled glass against her skin. I'll choose something, Tessie, she says. I nod smartly. Rain's coming, Mama, I say. Mama turns to the window and sniffs. It's about time, she murmurs. Murmur. That's sort of like a little mumbling, like you're talking under your breath just a little bit. Jackie Joyce in her bathing suit knocks at the door and I let her in. 
Jackie Joyce has on her suit. Mama, I say, may I wear mine too? I hold my breath, waiting. A breeze blows the thin curtains into the kitchen, and it sucks them back against the screen again. Is there thunder? Mama asks. No thunder, I say. Is there lightning? Mama asks. No lightning, Jackie Joyce says. You stay where I can find you, Mama says. We will, I say. Go on then, Mama says, lifting the glass to her lips to take a sip. Come on, Rain, I cheer, peeling out of my clothes and into my suit while Jackie Joyce runs to get Liz and Rosemary. We meet in the alleyway. All the insects have gone still. Trees sway under a swollen sky. The wind grows bold and bolder. And just like that, rain comes. The first drops plop down big making dust dance all around us. Then a deeper gray descends and the air cools and the clouds burst and suddenly rain is everywhere. Come on, rain, we shout. It streams through our hair and down our backs. It freckles our feet, glazes our toes. We turn in circles, glistening in our rain skin, our mouths. Ah, open wide, we go down rain. Jackie Joyce chases Rosemary, who chases Liz, who chases me. We sweat, slicking our arms and legs. We splash up the block, squealing and whooping in the streaming rain. They are having so much fun. We make such a racket, Miss Glick rushes out on her porch. Miss Grace and Miss Vera come next, and then comes Mama. They run from their kitchens and skid, skid, to a stop. Leaning over their rails, they turn to each other. A smile spreads from porch to porch, and with a wordless nod, first one, then all. Fling off their shoes, skim off their hose, tossing streamers of stockings over their shoulders. Our bare-legged mamas dance down the steps and join us in the fresh, clean rain, while the music from Ms. Glick's phonographs shimmies and sparkles and streaks like night lightning. Jackie Joyce, Liz, Rosemary, and I, we grab the hands of our mamas. We twirl and sway them, tromping through puddles, romping and reeling in the moist green air. We swing our wet and wild-haired mamas till we're all laughing under trinkets of silver rain. hug mama hard and she hugs me back. The rain has made us new. As the clouds move off, I trace the drips on mama's face. Everywhere, everyone, everything is misty limbs springing back to life. We sure did get a soaking, mama, I say, and we head home purely soothed, fresh as dew, turning toward the first sweet rays of the sun. The end. Wasn't that nice? Ooh, it was so hot and the plants were suffering and everybody was so hot 
and the rain came. Tessie said, come on, rain, and it came. I hope you enjoyed this story. As you can see, I got this book from Z Library. And I hope you have told your moms, dads, grandmas, everybody, I need to get a library card, please. And they'll take you to the library. And the librarians there will help you sign up for a library card so you can check out books like this one. Let's give Karen Muth and John J. Karen Hess and John J. Muth I was getting all the names twisted. I'm so excited with that story. Give them a round of applause. Awesome. Well, we hope you join us next time for another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. Who knows what we'll be doing? We may be learning letters or numbers or read another fun story and learn because reading is learning. It's exciting and it's an adventure. Take care and I'll see you next time. Mwah! Smooches! <laughs>